Viking Pump in Cedar Falls, Iowa, is one of the oldest rotary pump manufacturers in the United States. They opened their doors in 1911, selling a new invention called the internal gear pump. The gentleman that invented the internal gear pump, I suppose his name was Jens Nielsen, he had a rock quarry here in Cedar Falls. He couldn't get the rocks out because it was full of water. So he came up with the invention of an internal gear pump to actually lift water out of his rock quarry and evacuate the water. Today's internal gear pumps still pump thin liquids, but their ability to pump thick, gooey material like chocolate distinguishes them from other pumps. So how do they do it? This is an internal gear pump. It consists of an outer gear called a rotor. You see the teeth along here. Inner gear called an idler. It's this portion right here. The rotor drives the idler. As the rotor turns, so you can see the gears are coming out of mesh. The liquid is drawn in, comes in between the teeth, fills the cavities as they come out of mesh. This part here is called a crest that seals the liquid in. As the rotor continues to turn, it transfers the liquid around to this side of the pump. As the teeth come into mesh, it pushes liquid out the port here, which is the discharge port, with a continuous flow. Viking Pump builds internal gear pumps from the ground up. The process starts in their foundry, where superheated metal is poured into a sand mold. It's then separated from the mold, cooled, cleaned, and sent next door to be machined and assembled. This internal gear pump will be used to pump asphalt. With nearly 100 years under their belt, Viking Pump sees no shortage in the worldwide demand for rotary pumps. I think there's always going to be pumps as long as there's liquids. Liquids to transfer one place to another. I just don't think it's ever going to run out. No matter the viscosity of the liquid, there's a pump that can suck, push, or lift it to its destination.